So, Jim, you are obviously the radio pitch man. You've been doing radio for a long, long time. And you had messaged me not that long ago that uh, direct response radio Mm -hmm. is by far the best thing, the best kept secret that no one really understands exactly how this works. Let's let's talk about that for a minute. Let me understand exactly how this works. So when I talk about radio, and by the way, I started my radio career, believe it or not, this year, 40 years ago, I was a kid in college. That'll give you an idea how old I am. But 40 years ago, back in 84, I started talking into a microphone like this. And so what a lot of people think when they hear radio, Tommy, is it's something that their grandparents used to listen to. And then they say, as a business owner, an HVAC company, a roofer, I have purchased 30 and 60 second radio commercials and I lost my shirt. It doesn't work. And I tell them, well, they should have contacted me first because they generally don't have a good call to action, nor have they had the time in 30 or 60 seconds to establish who they are, why they should be hired, the value in what they do, and even what it might cost for them to come out to the homeowner's home. And direct response radio, the way we do it here, is it's a 54 minute, a one hour long radio show. It's like an infomercial and everything is covered. So when that call comes in, it's not a lead, Tommy. That call is an appointment because they know, that homeowner knows who you are, why you do it, probably what it's gonna cost, how long it's gonna take. And it's 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 just huge. So. I'm sure you've purchased things from an infomercial before or watched infomercials before on the TV, right? Correct. So it's like a blender or the thigh master or something. When people call that 800 number, do you think they're calling to ask more questions about how many speeds that blender is? Mm -mm. They're calling with their credit card. They're calling to order it. When will the blender be here? That is the only question. A buddy of mine, Tom Decker, and you've met Tom before out at my place in Texas. He wrote a book called When Can You Do It? It's for home service providers. I wrote the forward to it. We tripled his business in one year on radio. We tripled his his, his attic installation business, tripled it from direct response radio. The only question you want the homeowner to ask, Tommy, is when can you do it? the only question not how much is it who are your competitors there are no competitors no one's it's like a referral when they hear you on the radio and you've been talking to me about your business and about the offer there is no competition why would they call anyone else the other ones aren't there and that's the best kept secret in advertising today and people just don't see it it's very frustrating i do have some clients that do see it Actually, Garage Door Doctor is one of them in Houston. Yeah, you know, I I think that um, radio is still one of the best. And I've not, this is not an assumption. I was talking to a buddy, obviously, you know, Roy Williams. Mm-hmm. And when, they, when they've kind of figured out the cost structure of radio and how many people it hits, and how many people are hearing the message? If it's crafted correctly, it still is by far. Over Google, over Yelp, over Angie's List, it still is the number one thing. It's just most people don't understand. Like they're just spraying and praying. They're putting different ads. They don't know the creative. They're not actually doing uh, the, the right ask, which is the, the call to action. They're not saying call this number. There's no offer. It's like you said. And so I I, I totally agree when it's done correctly. The question is, how much volume can you get? I mean, how how much can this help grow somebody? It can be stupendous. So it all depends on the market, the radio station, the time. So I've been doing this forever. And it's interesting because people just don't know, even ad agencies and even some radio stations don't understand this stuff. It blows my mind, Tommy. So for instance, um, you know, someone might say, okay, you know, I want to do this. When should we do it? Well, we'll find out what times are available, at what stations in, you know, in your city. And I'll come back with some options and I'll say, actually, Saturday at two isn't necessarily the best time. Sunday at 11 is like Sunday. People aren't working Sunday. I said, it's church traffic. They're in their cars and trucks. Trust me, that homeowner is on their way from or to church or shopping. It's Sunday. Sunday is better than Saturday. Goes against what people believe is true. 
and it is. And people, day one, Tommy, the listener will call, not necessarily because they're familiar with me and you on the radio as the garage door guy, but they're loyal to the radio station. And when we're on that station in that market, it doesn't matter where it is, they are going to buy because of the trust factor. And it is it is a formula. That's why I'm working on my book, The Radio Pitchman. And The Radio Pitchman is this formula that I've created over the decades. And it is, it is this science, but it's kind of simple. So you have a regular price, an offer price, always something for free. You have a limited amount of product and you must act now. Call now. There's only four left. It's like an infomercial. Might sound a little cheesy. This stuff works. I love it. Well, listen, you know I'm a big part of Garage Store Doctor. Those guys are like, those guys, they're the hardest workers. The Johnson family, I don't know what they, uh, I don't know what Vince had fed those kids, Vincent. Uh, it's just absolutely incredible what, uh, what those guys do and anything they're part of. Obviously, they got a lot of, um, they get a lot of leeway. You know, I don't, I don't micromanage those guys, even though we're part that they're under the A1 family. And so we're definitely going to work out something and figure this stuff out together. Yeah, no, they're fantastic people. And they were fed something because they're all darn very tall and uh, terrific people. And they're, they're just right down the road for me. And, you know, it's great because when we do um, these recordings with Cody, he comes into the Checker Pro studios and we do it this way, um, you know, actually in this studio with microphones but I have clients all across the country. And with technology today, we do it through a Zoom call. And it's fantastic. We couldn't have done this years ago well. It would have been over the phone and it would have sounded poorly. It really is a great opportunity for home service companies to do something that the competition's not. So you know this is true, Tommy, because you do it in the market you're in, probably especially in Phoenix. The ones that are on radio all the time and on TV – during the evening news, those are the home service companies. Ask yourself, are you doing that? And the question is, is most people aren't. Why, why does, Tommy, why does everybody want to be where everyone else is, which is digital? And digital is fine. Being online is fine. You need to be there. But wouldn't it be nice to be somewhere else as an expert that no one else is? Why are you all fishing in one lake when there's another one that no one's in? Blows my mind. Well, it's frustrating. It. <laughs> well, let's go, Jim. This is uh, I'm I'm excited for your new book, and um, I love the idea of uh, when can you do it, and uh, I do agree that that done correctly, and most very few people, I'd say under ten percent, are doing it correctly. Yes. Uh, I I look at these PE companies, Jim, and and I realize the biggest best ones they understand these channels. Um, if you look at leaf fitter, they're just, it, it's like, but one thing is they answer their phone and they call you back and they look at a lead and they cherish it. They nurture it and they pour onto it and they look at every lead. Like it's like, it's everything to them. Most people, they just say, yeah, can't get out there today. Thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's the, the difference between when you're going to do these things, you got to cultivate that lead and you need to earn their business. And you need to treat them with respect. It's like, listen, if you wanted to make somebody feel like they were the most important person in the world, like that would be my number one question. I'm going to write that down. Most, how, when I hear that call, do, the, do I feel like you're making that person feel like they're the most important person in the world? And if you can do that, you're going to win. Yeah. And don't forget, this is so important. And I talk about this in my book, Tommy, and you know, this has got to be the case. When you're promoting yourself on radio, so let's take my radio show, the Chuckle Pro Radio Show, Direct Response. My job is to make you look good as the home service professional. So I put you up on a pedestal and I say that we've pre-qualified you because for 20 years we've been checking out contractors and so forth. And that's my job to protect the homeowner. It's important to tell people your credentials, but you're not the freaking hero of the story. It's always the homeowner your boss, the consumer, they're the ones that pay you. So instead of saying we've won the pinnacle award 10 years in a row from the BBB and we've got 8 billion reviews, five stars, by the way, on Google, 
You want to say, here's how we're going to solve your problem. Okay. Your garage door is making a lot of noise. We can come out and do this, 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 and this. And because you're listening to the show today, you're going to get a special offer. So you make them feel special and you're helping them solve their problem. Too many companies, Tommy, it's all about them. We're great. We're the number one in town. You must hire us. No one cares. I agree. They don't. A homeowner cares about them. I tell people when I'm speaking on stage, I'll say, who's the most important person in the room? And they'll point to me or their boss or some other important person who was just on stage. I'm like, no, it's you. Everyone thinks they're the most important person. So remember that when you're selling. They are the most important person. Solve their problem and you'll have no trouble in sales. It's that simple. I love it. Thanks, Tommy. I appreciate you having me on here. You're great. Love you, man. Thanks, buddy. Love you too, buddy. Thanks, Jimbo.